Can you say monkeys? Say monkeys. Welcome to another episode of This Indulgent Life, where together wanderlusting families navigate respectful parenting, education, and fulfilling our dreams of having an extraordinary life through travel. We believe that life shouldn't just be an obligation and that the American dream isn't the same for everyone. We believe that life should be an indulgence, so cherished and enjoyed. And the best way to do that is through enjoying experiences together and following our hearts. May you be inspired to do the same. Say hi. Say hey. We are on our way to the bus. Hopefully we'll make it in time. We don't have to wait another 20 minutes. I haven't even eaten yet. It's in my bag. <laughs> but we are gonna go see the monkeys. We're gonna go see a bunch of monkeys. I'm gonna see if he can say monkey by the end of this trip. I'm, if I say it enough, he might start saying it, right? Can you say monkeys? Yes. <laughs> say monkey. He told me no earlier, so we'll see. But it's a bus. Hey, Mabel. <laughs> it's a bus to like another, I think a train and then a bus and then. Then we're there and it's a walk. And then it's a lot of walking because it's in a park going to Monkey Mountain. So wish us luck. <laughs> Can you say airplane? Can you say bus? Are we going on a bus? Yes. Say bus. Baba, bus. Bus. Headed to the MTR, subway, train, whatever you want to call it, and uh, then to another bus. So, uh, that's a tater, he wants to hold both hands. And uh, we're gonna go see some monkeys. Not this monkey, some actual monkeys. So, <laughs> like, not in the zoo monkeys, like in the wild monkeys. Well, as wild as you can get in Hong Kong, at least. me well, I'm, I'm just walking <laughs> along and somebody decides to cut a corner and their very heavy bag whacked me right in the middle of my my hand 
And this one decided he wanted to be carried for the first time in like forever. So it's yep. a good thing we decided to bring the carrier. Because, you know, I don't normally bring the carrier. Paw Patrol. Very, oh, and we won't be here, baby. It's gonna be here after we leave. Anyway, I don't normally bring the carrier, but today, since we're gonna go see the monkeys and I wasn't sure how he would do with running away, and then I thought about maybe going to ladies market to get a new phone case, and that's a ton of people. I thought I would bring the carrier just in case, and I'm glad I did. Plus he sleeps. Kind of, uh, at least at the bus stop area. So we're, we don't know if we go up. So we're not gonna feed the monkeys. We're not gonna tease the monkeys or throw anything at them. We're not gonna get close to them, especially the babies. No yelling, okay? We're not gonna yell. Do not stare at them, so we can't stare in their eyes. No eating, no plastic in or another kind of bags. And as long as I think we don't have food, we'll be okay. So no food. Oh, and mommy's gonna take all of the stuff in here, and I'm gonna stick it inside the bag. So there's nothing out for them to get. Come on, Mikey. Oh. Remember, do not stare at the monkey. Stare at the monkey. <laughs> okay. All right, so we always try to bring water with us wherever we go, um, but you know, we run out of water. And so I thought maybe we could get water while we were here. And they do have vending machines. But yeah, no water. You got like soya and sugary tea drinks and some like power drink or something, but no water. Say no water. Can you say water? Yeah. Say water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going down the stretch of road in Hong Kong. Uh, basically everything is paved. <laughs> There's not very many dirt tracks to go. Oh crap.
I knew they existed here in Hong Kong, but you never normally see them. It's very, very rare to see one of the wild hogs in Hong Kong. Um, but that was like right next to the road. They're just sleeping there. So luckily we were able to get a little shot for you and not be mauled. So that's always a good thing. And just leaving them alone, really. Yeah, Maybe. I zoomed it. I didn't get very close to them, guys. I was right from the road. Uh, and then I just zoomed in with the camera. Luckily it's got a nice little zoom on it. So that's why it looks like we're really close, but we're not, we're just right where we were walking. So, all right, let's see what else we can find today. Can you put your monkey eyes in? Put your monkey eyes in. Put your monkey eyes in. That's right. All right, so now we can go see monkeys. <laughs> That's something that my grandfather used to do with me. Not with monkeys, obviously. Oh, car coming. Truck coming. Ooh. And car. I hope we're on the right path here. It doesn't mean very much in Hong Kong. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back in the US, we my grandfather lived in Pennsylvania. And so of course you could see deer and you could see bear. And so when we would go on a drive, my grandfather would tell me to put my deer eyes in or put my bear eyes in so that we could see the deer. So we're doing monkeys because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for monkeys. So we gotta put our monkey eyes in. Turns out, I think we are on the right path. The problem is there's a lot of construction going on and I think it's scaring away all of the monkeys. So we're gonna walk up just a little bit, see if we can walk through all of this construction. And if it ends around the corner, then we'll just keep going. And if it keeps going for a while, then we're gonna turn around and see if maybe there's something else to do. Um, kinda bummed that we're not gonna maybe see monkeys. I'm, the whole, my, like literally four years in Hong Kong and the one thing I really wanted to do is see the monkeys ever since I saw them running along the road. And it looks like we may not see monkeys today. Uh, evidently, usually they're like as soon as you get off the bus, but I don't know what's going on. So let's, Tripes, he fell and hurt his knee and so now he wants to be carried, so yay. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. That was random. Oh, body, body. Monkeys. Can you say monkeys? Say monkeys. Say ooh, ah, ah. Nope, now you see butterflies. We, we got, I'm really surprised and we're, we literally just passed all the construction. Like I still see them right behind Alan right now, but they just keep coming out of this little hole in the fence. Just like, just one at a time, just as they go. You think they're all done and the next thing you know, here comes another monkey and they're really calm. I'm really surprised 
I was able to like just even with the click of the shutter it didn't phase them at all so I'm, I'm really impressed luckily this one seems to kind of understand not to scream a little bit but I feel like look, he's still just staring at us I feel like I've accomplished our goals we saw monkeys feral monkeys not like cage monkeys like monkeys that just get to roam around and do their thing hi monkey That monkey uh, about caught on Mary's hair. Just about. I heard it jump, but I didn't know it was so close. Stay right here, please. Say night night monkeys. No, not. Did you so, like seeing the monkeys? So toot. Yeah. Me too. Uh, so now we are. Coming back. Huh? Oh. Him. <laughs> well, don't do that crap. The monkeys come around from everywhere. Freaking me the heck out. Why don't you get there? Ooh. Don't Damn. John. Stop. What are you doing? Hang on to mama. Hang on, much harder to walk. All right. Well, let me help her out this minute. <laughs> that was amazing. Like, I almost fell and busted my butt. Actually, I almost fell and busted my head. Because I, I knew that there was a drop off the path. But I didn't realize that there was this other little wall about six inches from the path. And I was stepping down onto that. And trying to get away from the monkeys and recording for Instagram live all at the same time. It didn't go so well for me. And then when the monkeys came, it was on the same poles as my camera. So I was having boogie, trying to run, go get the camera from the, on the gorilla pod off the pole. And, and we have like little, little lizard That's a thingies. Skink. Oh, skink. No, he's underneath the, I don't think you can see him. Uh, no. 
He gone. He gone. Bye bye. You know, it's amazing. You know, Hong Kong is like literally concrete jungle. I mean, look at this. Like we're in the jungle kind of type place and it's concrete. Like even here, they've covered everything in concrete. So Hong Kong is like the epitome of concrete jungle. And yet we see monkeys and wild boar and skinks and weird bugs and huge snails. Uh, it's just it's snakes, of course. It's amazing the amount of wildlife that still exists here in Hong Kong. And I mean, this was a really easy hike minus these cars like I'm dealing with right now. See how close we can get to this fence here. So it's, you know, for a place where you feel so tiny because of all the massive buildings. You <laughs> so, so close. It's awesome what you can see. Oh, what I was saying is, this is a really, really easy hike. Like, you can do this with a stroller, you could do this with a wheelchair. It, there's some hills, but they're not bad at all. Uh, you can be completely out of shape and still manage this. It's super short. Uh, basically, you walk down to the water department, like... Reservoir. It's not really a reservoir. It's like a treatment plan or something. Yeah. It's and then you walk back and there's some other hikes around here that you could take too like you could walk all the way around the reservoir but if you just want a quick <laughs> i don't like that that button being on he wants to lean back if lean you want to <laughs> lean back lean. i think i hear another car anyway like if you look up here no, just go up here so there's another path that you could take around the reservoir uh, and there's maps and there's even fire pits and picnic tables and you could literally just have a nice little afternoon here away from the big city and then go back to the city in the evening where you could do like Temple Street Night Market or Ladies Market. So you definitely have options here in Hong Kong and I suggest that if you are coming to Hong Kong you definitely come and do this because it's so easy they're fairly friendly. Yeah, just it's easy. I like that. <laughs> Little hills, but mostly shaded. Do it. Come see the monkeys. Say monkeys? Yeah. Yes. I will say one thing though. Make sure that in your backpacks you have nothing out in the open. You don't bring any food um, that you don't want them to like get. And like I have a necklace that I wear a lot that you see in the films. I took that off. I didn't want anything shiny. I took my inhaler out of the, the front of my bag. I took my wallet out of the front of my bag. I took my phone out of the front of my bag. Just make sure most things are hidden uh, or like right in your hand and just keep it that way. I don't know if I got ants in my pants. He might have ants in his pants. That's why the oh. camera's shaky. <laughs> anyway, let's check for the ants. Uh, nothing, nothing shiny. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Either take an exit C, is it C4 or something, or the exit E1 at a Mongkok station, you come over to Langham Place which is uh, like a shopping mall type place that we have back in the States. Uh, and then you come up here to the fourth floor, which is like the food court area. So once you get out the elevator, you come out to here, you have like, like Japanese restaurants and a little, little, like a little Vietnamese place. Other than that, not much, but if you go left when you come out of the elevators, you have that one little Japanese place <laughs> have a little Chinese place here uh, honeymoon dessert have the Ginki sushi it's just pretty decent there's that honeymoon dessert then you have the food court which has some pretty decent food so you have K 
Cow Cow Ice. Cow Cow Cafe. Then you have like a Ichiban place, Japanese, a couple like Korean things, a pepper lunch, a little Chinese place. And you, where we was at is Yumcha. That's where you got the squishy little hot custard bun at. Yum cha, uh, where you have the squishy custard, and you got the piggy uh, pork buns and things like that. I gotta say, the experience is fun. And if you have little kids, he's been loving the experience of these things. The taste. Uh, I mean, it is it, it, it is local Chinese. Like the hot dogs are not hot dogs; they're like a hard Chinese sausage, uh, but not like uh, jerky or something like that. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's kind of sweet, but kind of not. Um, the what was that? Calamari or what was that? Squid. We had squid, fried squid. That was really yummy. The rice noodles or with beef was really yummy. He's trying to feed me pork bun. For a kid who's actually probably really tired because it's like past three o'clock and he hasn't had a nap yet, he's doing pretty good. Making a mess, but that's okay. Yeah. So would we come here again at these prices? No. I would say this is a one-time experience. It's great to say that we've done it. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Um, but I'll stick to the Char Siu Bao back in Tayo where you get three for like 16. And they're really good. Not quite the same thing, but yeah. Come here if you got kids for the experience. Um, do not get the sticky honey balsamic chicken wings. They are just like flooded with balsamic, just too much. Otherwise, it's okay. It's okay. The experience is fun. Do you like it? Yeah. Um, this act, this mall, we're actually at the Mong Kok. There's three locations. There's Central, TST, or Chim uh, Tao Toy, and Mong Kok. So we came to the Mong Kok one because it's like literally right off the MTR, uh, uh, level four. But this food court, we'll have to do a walkthrough for you of the food court. It is amazing looking. Like, I almost wish we had just, actually, I kind of do wish we had just gotten a couple of the buns for fun and then gotten eaten over there because that looks really good. So, maybe if you want to do this experience, that would be a good option for you because this is pretty pricey. Uh, ladies' market. I did try to get some video for you guys. I did. We got a little bit. Got a little bit. Um, again, it's an experience and it's one we didn't used to mind doing, mm -hmm. but it is not very fun with kids. So definitely either put them on your shoulders or baby wear them. Do not bring a stroller. Um, I don't even think we went during rush hour. Like that wasn't even like the no. major time of day to go 
And unfortunately, they really don't start opening up ladies' market until like 11 or 12 o'clock in that lunchtime area. So it's not like you can get there like eight, really nine, early. eight, really, really, really early. Yeah. You know, they're 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 not even there yet. They're. But it's mostly just kitschy stuff. Like I love Hong Kong or jade bracelets or Coffee fans watches. and watches and uh, tea sets and chopsticks and bags, suitcases, magnets, phone cases, clothing. Yeah, all those kinds of things. Weird underwear. Oh, yeah. That one could be skipped by kids, too. <laughs> um, and I didn't find my phone case because finding an iPhone X case seems to be very difficult in Hong Kong right now. I don't know why. Uh, they have all the models before and all the model after, but not that one. Join our Family Travel and Adventure Tribe on Facebook. It really... Uh, just ask any questions you have about how you can make more intentional decisions about exploring or making experiences with your family. And again, if you want some one-on-one -on -one help with that, please do email me and we can get on a call, a free first call, and I'll even give you your first baby step to making this happen for you. I'm all about the action steps. So that's all for today. Please, 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 Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. It will automatically download if you subscribe. Thank you again. And I would love to see if you screenshot this and add it to your Insta stories and tag me at this indulgent life. I'd love to see you and what you thought of this episode. Take care. Bye.